Aloha everyone and welcome back. This is the Hawaii Volcano Watch Report for October 1st, 2021 at 9.26 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. The USGS released their update and stated that the Kilauea Volcano is erupting. Yes, the Kilauea Volcano is erupting. Uh, Lava continues to erupt from multiple vents along the floor of and western wall of the Halemaumau Crater. As of the morning of October 1st, 2021, all lava activity is confined within Halemaumau in Hawaii's Volcanoes National Park. Seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated. Summit observations show that sulfur dioxide SO2 emission rates remain high and were estimated at around 20,000 tons per day the morning of September 30th, 2021. This is significantly lower than the initial emission rates of 85,000 tons per day that were measured just after the eruption started on the afternoon of September 29th, 2021. Seismicity is stable with few earthquakes and ongoing eruptive tremor. Summit tilt meters continue to record slow deflationary tilt through the last 24 hours. The Halemaumau Lake observations show that lava continues to erupt from multiple vents on the base and west wall of the Halemaumau crater. Through the number of or though the number of active fountaining locations has decreased over the past day. The rate of lava lake rise has slowed since the early phase of the eruption. Over the past 24 hours, the lava lake surface has risen approximately 4 meters or 4.4 yards. In total, the lava lake surface has risen approximately 24 meters or 26 yards since the eruption started. Localized and discontinuous crustal foundering continues, a process by which cool lava crust on the surface of the lava lake is overridden by less dense liquid from below, causing the crust to sink into the underlying lava lake. Last night, field crews reported maximum fountaining heights of 15 meters or 49 feet at the dominant vent on the west wall of the Halemaumau crater. Low fountaining continues at other sources uh, excuse me, low fountaining continues at other sources which are less vigorous. Down in the East Rift Zone, we show no unusual activity uh, that has been noted in the Kilauea East Rift Zone. Ground deformation motion suggests that the upper East Rift Zone between the summit of Pu'o uh, has been steadily refilling with magma over the past year, while SO2 and hydrogen sulfide emissions from Pu'o were below instrumental detection levels. Uh, when last measured on January 7th, 2021. Current hazard analysis, uh, the current hazard analysis states that this new eruption at Kilauea Summit is occurring within a closed area of the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Therefore, high levels of volcanic gas are the primary hazard of concern, as this hazard uh, can have far-reaching effects downwind. Large amounts of volcanic gas, primarily water vapor, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide are continuously released during eruptions of the Kilauea volcano. As SO2 is released from the summit, it reacts in the atmosphere to create the visible haze known as VOG or volcanic smog that has been observed downwind of Kilauea. VOG creates the potential for airborne health hazards to residents and visitors, damages agricultural crops and other plants, and affects livestock. For more information on gas hazards at the summit of Kilauea, please visit um, uh, then there's a URL uh, for more bog information. It can also be found at another URL actually and those URLs will be available in the um, description of the video. Actually the complete report has been added to the video description at this time. Additional hazards include Pele's hair and other lightweight volcanic glass fragments from the lava fountains that will fall downwind of the fissure vents and dust the ground within a few hundred meters or yards of the vents. Strong winds may waft lighter particles to greater distances. Residents should minimize exposure to these volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation. Skin and eye irritation. And there should be respiratory uh, irritation added to that statement as well. 
Other significant hazards also remain around Kilauea Caldera from Halemawa Crater, wall instability, ground cracking, and rock falls that can be enhanced by earthquakes within the area closed to the public. This underscores the extremely hazardous nature of Kilauea Caldera Rim surrounding the Halemawa Crater, an area that has been closed to the public since late 2007. And that will do it for this update of the Kilauea Volcano Eruption for 2021. I really do appreciate all the channel support from everyone that, that uh, watches, likes, subscribes, all that good stuff. It is very, very much appreciated and it's what keeps this channel going. So until next time, tomorrow, to be precise, you have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.